Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about seven ways by which a botanist can use bioinformatics in their research. So let's get started. The number one, you can utilize bioinformatics for genome analysis. You can do the sequence assembly and annotation of plant genome. You can also do comparative genomics to study evolutionary relationship and identify conserved genes. Additionally, the identifications of genetic variations and mutation within the plant populations can be studied via bioinformatics. Apart from genomics, you can also focus on transcriptomics. You can perform RNA sequencing to study gene expression pattern in different plant tissue or under different conditions. Analysis of transcriptome to identify gene involved in specific biological processes or responses to the environmental conditions could be studied via bioinformatics. Additionally, along with your genomics and transcriptomics, proteomics also has a significant role in the biological system, including your botany. So you can identify and characterize the plant's proteins and proteome, analyze the protein-protein interaction and protein function, you can also do investigation of post-translation modification in plant proteins. Moreover, you can also analyze metabolomic data, profiling and identification of small molecules like metabolites in plant can be done to better understand the plant physiology. You can also study the metabolic pathway and networks in the plant metabolism. You can also investigate and analyze the metabolite changes in response to environmental stimuli or genetic modification. Along with this omic kind of studies, you can also perform phylogenetic analysis. You can construct the phylogenetic trees to study the evolutionary relationship among plant species. Moreover, you can also perform comparative analysis of DNA or protein sequence to investigate the evolutionary history and divergence time. Along with your phylogenetic and taxonomy, you can also utilize bioinformatics for functional annotation, like prediction of gene function based on sequence similarity and structure feature, annotation of non-coding regions in the plant genome, and also analysis of gene ontology and pathways enrichment to understand biological function related to plant. You can also do data integration and visualization, interpretation of diverse biological data sets from plant genomics, transcriptomic and proteomic can be utilized for comprehensive integrated analysis and understanding. And with the advent of time, you can also utilize application of machine learning and algorithm for data mining and pattern recognition for your plant-based experimentation. Along with these, you can also utilize bioinformatics in herbal informatics, the databases development, management of herbal knowledge, including plant species, chemical constraint, traditional uses can be done on the bioinformatics resources. You can also do mining of herbal databases to identify potential bioactive compounds and their target protein. Additionally, you can also perform predictive modeling and data mining to explore relationship between the phytochemical structure, the pharmacological activity. You can also utilize bioinformatics for the medicinal plant-based drug designing. So you can utilize CAT, the computer-aided drug designing. So you may either perform virtual screening and molecular docking to identify potential drug target and bioactive compound from medicinal plant. You can either perform in silico modeling or structure activity relationship, that is SAR, to analyze and optimize the potency and selectivity of herbal compounds. Computational simulation and molecular dynamic can be utilized to understand the interaction between herbal compounds and target protein which are involved in diseases. So thus you have seen how you can utilize bioinformatics in diverse area of botany from understanding the basic biology to phylogeny and taxonomy to omic analysis and also in the drug discovery and development. Integration of computational tools and approaches will accelerate the identifications and development of potential therapeutic agent from the plant sources. These are just few examples of how a botanist can leverage the bioinformatics in their research. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. If you are interested in learning these things at the foundation level or advanced level, you can contact us for training and collaboration purpose as well. Thank you so much.